What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm going to show you how to easily, effectively, and efficiently wrap a duckbill spoiler like this in one single piece of vinyl. I'm going to give you the best point of view possible when it comes to doing this. Let's pan across this quickly so I can show you what the spoiler actually looks like. Uh, it's a very compound curve and I want you to be able to understand how you can actually do this in one piece. If you guys are looking for those detailed videos on how to wrap in 4K point of view, Check out my website. I'll put a link in the top corner and in the description below for you. We have open forum discussion board, wrap of the month contest, tons of videos, tons of content, and of course, special requests. Now, what you're going to need to do this is a few things. We're going to need a knife, of course, because we're gonna have to cut the vinyl. We're going to need a tucking tool right here. We're going to need a squeegee with a buffer on the end. This is called a buffer. We're gonna put that on the end of our squeegee, make sure that we're not scratching the film. If we use the other side of our squeegee, we're going to be scratching the film. We need a heat gun. We need some cleaner. I use 70% isopropyl alcohol. We need some masking tape and of course a clean rag to wipe off everything. That's pretty much it. The tools that I'm using today, you'll be able to find in the description below from Amazon, most of them. Otherwise, I have a link to SignMaker tools there as well if you want to pick up some stuff from their website. Now, let's get onto it. Let's mask off the actual surrounding area. I'll show you how to do that. The reason why masking tape is very important is because it's going to allow a couple of things here. It's going to allow the vinyl to a slide off of the opposite surface and it's also going to uh, prevent us from cutting into the paint. Because the spoiler is mounted to the surface of the vehicle, there's a chance there that we could cut into the paint. We don't want to do that. Now, why haven't I removed the spoiler? I'll explain why I haven't removed the spoiler. Because when we're actually doing this and we're pulling on the film, if the spoiler is sitting on a table, it's going to be moving all over the place. And this is not going to make a lot of sense when it comes to actually wrapping it. You're going to need someone to hold it down. And on top of that, someone doesn't really have anywhere to hold onto it if you have a big piece of vinyl covering it. So you're not going to be able to actually do this without having it mounted to something. I opt to leave it mounted to the vehicle if you're just wrapping the spoiler. If I'm going to be wrapping the whole car, this is just a rental, but if I'm going to be wrapping the whole car, I'm going to remove the spoiler, wrap the trunk, reinstall the spoiler, wrap the spoiler in that order. Okay, that's, how, that's just how I would do it. Um, makes more sense that way to do it while it's mounted to the surface. Now, I'm going to finish masking off here. We're able to actually get the, the uh, masking tape slightly underneath the spoiler. So this is going to allow us to protect that area underneath the spoiler. We want to, we want to put the, the masking tape as close as possible to that edge, if not tuck underneath it. So again, we're going to wrap all the way across everything all the way through. And I'll bring the camera over in a second so I can show you exactly how I'm getting it more or less underneath that spoiler, right around the edges here. Give me one second. Masking tape doesn't take too long. It's well worth the effort to do this. Let's bring the camera over to show you this side over here. Okay, let's grab our masking tape and I'm gonna slide it slightly underneath. See that? I'll be able to get it slightly underneath. We just kind of wiggle it in underneath. It's really not, it's, I mean, I'm standing in an awkward spot right now, but normally I would do it from your side. It's a little bit more challenging for me this way. We're gonna get it. Now, you do not want your masking tape to be on your spoiler. If it's on your spoiler, you're going to be wrapping over top of your masking tape. That's not good either. So you see how much masking tape I'm using? This is important. I'm going to keep coming around. And then as I come around here, I'm going to be pushing in to that area over there. Let's do this so you can see a little bit better right here. There we go. Um, I normally come from the other side. I find it's easier. This side's a little bit awkward for me, but it'll give you a good point of view. And again, this is more for you guys than it is for me. I know how to do this already. This is a very common style spoiler on a lot of cars. This is not like, um, not all cars have a spoiler like a big wing, like a Honda Civic Type R. Uh, a lot of cars do have a very similar spoiler to this. And a lot of them can be wrapped in one piece. There is the option to do this in two pieces. And I save that sort of stuff for my website uh, for that really detailed stuff. But again, again, if you try this and you practice what I'm showing you, you'll be able to do this in one piece. Which does, it just looks cleaner in the end. The seam, what, doing it in two pieces does look pretty good, I gotta say, but this is just that much better. It's more of a professional 
level of uh, wrapping the object. And that's, those are things that your customer may not notice, but again, we'll just kind of appreciate in the end that it just looks generally nicer. They, won't, they, may, they may not notice that it's one piece. They may not care that it's one piece. They just know that it looks good. Cool, our masking tape is all set up. Let's move the camera back so I can show you what we're gonna do next. All right guys, the next step is to clean this thing off. So we're gonna take our rag, it's a little bit stained, it is clean. Um, we're gonna take our rag and we're going to wipe it off. So I'm gonna spray isopropyl alcohol on top of the actual rag itself. We're going to wipe across nice and thorough and make sure that we wipe the surrounding area as well in order to not draw in any contaminants that may be uh, again in the surrounding area. So now that I've wiped it off, we're going to take our rag and we're gonna take our squeegee and we're going to wrap the rag around the squeegee. This is going to allow us to get in and around the edges, okay? Just get them cleaned up a little bit. It doesn't require a lot. You don't have to forcefully push them. Um, you don't wanna forcefully push it because you could actually um, rub the paint off on the edges. Typically on vehicles, they don't spray very nicely around edges. So again, keep that in mind. You don't want to actually um, press too hard and rub the paint off of the spoiler. We just push um, firmly, not aggressively. Let's move this isopropyl alcohol out of the way. Now, just for safe measure, I'm going to go over it with a bit of heat. Let's do that and give this a bit of heat. This will help dry off the surface in case there is any um, residual isopropyl alcohol left after wiping it. This is going to help it evaporate. Cool, that part's good. Just leave that there. Again, this is just a rental car, so whatever. I'm just doing this video to show you guys. Now, we have our piece of vinyl, okay? We're gonna take our piece of vinyl and we're going to apply it to the top of this um, spoiler. Now, I'm gonna actually put this down for a second here. Now, one thing to actually note is that the spoiler, yes, it looks skinny and it looks like you could use a skinny piece, but don't use a skinny piece, guys. You're gonna actually put yourself in a, in a jam. Uh, as you can see, if I look at the spoiler from here, this angle here, this is the widest point over here and the widest point is over here. We're looking at about I'd say 10 inches to a foot in width. So our piece should be at least that, if not larger. I've cut my piece much larger than that. I've cut it at about 13, 14 inches. And this is going to allow us to actually just place the film on top of the spoiler. So let's do that. I'm gonna anchor down the opposite side right over there. You could use a magnet for that if you want to. Let's reel it right off. Leave that paper out of the way. And let's get into actually wrapping this bad boy. Now I'm a little bit high up over here. So I'm gonna bring the camera in a bit so you guys can see. Okay guys, I'm going to adjust my film. As you can see, I do not have a lot on this end here. And I'm just, I'm, a, I'm about four or five inches past the corner on the top here. So let's bring the film down a bit. I'm, I'm way too high up. And that's gonna give us better coverage on the bottom. We don't wanna play around with it too much. So again, let's bring it down over here. There's a trick to doing this, okay? There's a, there's a trick to actually getting this done nicely uh, and securely without it lifting. Okay. Now, the main thing here is to actually stretch the film across the panel. By stretching the film across the panel or across the, the spoiler, it's going to allow the film to curl around the edges. By curling around the edges, we're actually having the film suck itself or shrink wrap the spoiler. You're going to see that in a second here. Now, what I like to do here is I don't like to anchor the film to the spoiler. I anchor the, I anchor the uh, film to the actual opposite edge of the car, or, or the, basically the trunk is what I'm, I'm anchoring it to. I'm going to actually move my piece down a little further even and give myself a little bit more on the bottom. Let's do that. because I'm gonna show you something. I'm not worried about this top edge over here. So even if I was short on this corner right now, I know that I'd be able to cover it. Now I'm gonna show you the, the, the gist of it right here. We're going to move the camera over a bit and we'll get you in a better position to see what's happening. Okay, here we go. Now, I have more film on the bottom to anchor to, to the panel. I'll just anchor to the emblem right there. I'm gonna anchor it to the actual trunk right here and I'm going to take my film and I'm going to pull across, watch. I'm gonna pull across the spoiler, like so. Like that. As you can see, 
the film is wrapping itself around the bottom edge right here. This is golden. This is like the best thing you, this is the thing that you want. Now to get this corner done right here, this is very complex. Okay. This is where it gets really difficult. We have to actually take the film and then stretch it this way without stretching it too far past this corner right here. We don't want to pull the film way past this corner here because what will happen is that the film is going to want to pull itself back off of this corner here. But there is a trick and a technique to doing this. So we can eliminate some of this film here. I have a lot down here. Let's cut it just a little bit too much. And let's do this right here. Let's cut out some of this. It's just going to narrow the film down. This is going to be the path of least resistance. We don't want to have so much vinyl. Now I have more of a skinny piece, a skinnier piece in this area or a narrow piece in this area to work with. Let's lift the film up. And again, I still haven't anchored the film to the spoiler at all. It lifts off very freely right now. Let's just unfold our film, make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to take our heat gun and warm the film up to a point where it feels pliable. This is important. I'm going to heat it, heat it. You see how it's fluttering and flopping around. That's what you want. We keep heating it. And then we want to do this in one shot. So let's take it. Let's spread the film apart and come in and hit this corner right here. Watch when I hit it and then pull the film this direction. Now I'm going to keep the film flat and I'm going to stop right at the corner right here and expand it. Okay. That's important. Now what's happening here is the film has actually wrapped itself around the corner right here. Uh, I do have some wrinkles. That's okay. So if I have this wrinkle right here, this is going to be able to pull downwards. Anytime you see wrinkles like this, you just pull them down a little bit and then we can squeeze them out. Look at this. It's perfect. So we have no bunching up. This is where the vinyl would bunch up normally right here on this corner. We have no bunching up with the vinyl. Our film is nice and flat. We have very minimal glue lines, if any at all. And it looks, it looks great. It looks perfect. So we're wrapped right around the front corner right here. That's perfect. That's what I wanted to do. So I wrapped a corner at the same time. We can do the same thing on the other side. All we got to do now is just finish up um, getting that locked in a little bit right there. And this side, this complex corner right here is all finished up. Let's do the same thing on the other side so you guys can see exactly what's happening all over again in case that wasn't the best angle for you to watch. Let's get it right here. Cool. Let's grab my heat gun. Cool. Got that. Uh, stick that there. Let's cut off some more of this vinyl. Let's get rid of it. I don't like to have too much vinyl. It's just, it inhibits you. Okay. It just gets in your way and it also causes more resistance. So let's cut through here. Let's cut that out. I lift the vinyl up when I do that. I stick that there and I, I'm a little bit long on this side. So let's trim off some of the length. Perfect. I'm happy with this now. Now over here, we, you can see we haven't stretched it yet. So we still have bunching up. This vinyl is going to bunch up as we go to push it down and around the bottom of the spoiler. And here, especially right here, look at this, it's going to bunch up like crazy right here. That's why we have to pull it across and across up to this corner right here. Let's bring this vinyl back again. It's not tacked to the spoiler yet. So this shouldn't leave any lines or any inconsistencies in the finish. Let's heat it in this area where we need to, where we need to heat it. I don't need to heat the whole thing. Okay. Vinyl is starting to feel soft and, and pliable. Let's take it. Let's grab it. Let's pull it apart. Make sure that doesn't happen. Don't want it to fold over itself. Let's take it and let's hit the heat guns in my way. Let's try that again. That was my fault. I should put my heat gun more out of the way. So we'll heat that one more time. Get rid of all those wrinkles. Let's put the heat gun down there instead. Cool. Let's pull this apart again right there. Good. And let's get this to hit that edge right there. And again, we pull it across and up to the top corner right here while sort of wrapping this top corner all in one shot. Great. I'm going to pull out my wrinkles because the film will pull itself tight around this corner here. And again, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out the first time, try it again. The vinyl will allow you to try it again. Now the finish can get compromised uh, the more you try this. So you do want to try and get this done more or less in one shot. You don't want to keep doing this uh, over and over and over again. If you, if you find that it takes 
too many tries to do it and the finish is being compromised on the film, then you just grab a new piece when you're ready to do the final piece and redo the whole thing. Let's pull this, make sure we pull all these wrinkles down right here and get them all smoothed out. And again, the final is just pulling itself right under here. It's perfect. Like it doesn't get any better than that and any more durable than that. The only way it gets more durable than this is to actually remove the spoiler at this point and then wrap around the edges further. But we don't need to do that. I guarantee you, we don't need to do that. We're totally fine as far as all this goes. Let me move the camera a bit into a different position here and show you guys more what's happening from this side of things. Good. Let's get all this squeegeed out. So we need to flatten out our film. Perfect, perfect, flat, squeegee it. Squeegee the very top of it. Now my piece was a little bit dusty, so it's going to leave um, some small swirl marks, but it would leave some small swirl marks anyways. Um, they do post heat out, so they do, they do heat out afterwards. You don't have to worry too much, as long as you don't have too much dirt or any dirt actually on the surface of your film, you don't have to worry about the actual film uh, being scratched heavily. So I'm just using my fingers to come down to the very edge here on the bottom. It's very easy to do because the vinyl is actually pulling itself down into this area right here. Don't have to worry about it. I have the tape here, so if I wanted to cut right here, oops, it's all taped. Let's just, tape, let's just cut it. Let's cut it all the way across. Just make sure you know where your tape is and that you're actually cutting on the tape. So I'm gonna, when I can't see it anymore, I'll push down on the tape and make sure I know where it is. Let's get that going. Let's get this going over here. And you're going to need to cut back on the tape, uh, especially when we go to do the, around here, around this area here. You're gonna wanna make sure you have less vinyl. I have way too much vinyl here and it's gonna make it too hard to actually do. Uh, get the film tucked in underneath. Cool, so now we're just starting to look like something. Here is where I'll lift the film up. I'm gonna use my Rhapsodic Flex and I'm going to tuck the vinyl, pre-tuck the vinyl underneath the edge. Look at, look at my Rhapsodic Flex. My Rhapsodic Flex is actually underneath the edge of the spoiler. You can see that, it goes right in there. That's what you need to see, guys. You're not ready to cut until you see that. So again, I'm gonna start pushing it in and getting all of my vinyl tucked in underneath this edge. It's gonna give me full coverage, very important. Let's, I'll work on that other spot afterwards. Since the camera's over here now, we'll finish this up. So again, see my Rhapsodic Flex is underneath. I use this tucking tool because uh, it's more of like finesse. You know, you've, you've got um, this really nice tool that's great for tucking in uh, very tight areas like this. The squeegee is a little bit too thick most times and you're not able to actually get the uh, film tucked in underneath. There's not a single glue line on this. And the reason being is that I didn't actually stretch on the surface of the panel. I stretched while the film was tacked down to the opposite panel, which was the trunk itself. Now over here, uh, I have a lot of tension running across and it's very difficult to see what's happening. So I'm gonna cut, do a relief cut right there and that's going to free that up right there. So now I can actually see what's happening here much, much better. Let's lift it off of the tape again and let's make sure we're getting this nice, nicely tucked in underneath that spoiler. Let's take our knife and we angle our blade basically flat onto it, okay? So we don't want to uh, poke into the paint. I'm poking into, this has two-sided tape under it, so I'm poking into the two-sided tape a little bit. You don't, see how much knife I have in there? I don't have a lot of blade in there. We just take our time and come around really nicely. Now the, the plastic, the manufacturer of this car, I mean it's Toyota, uh, is not 100% perfect. So the, the spoiler isn't 100% perfect to begin with. You know? So the edges and stuff are a little bit you know, um, rough. And so you might see that a little bit uh, after we wrap it because now it's gonna be black on white before it was white on white. And so you wouldn't notice it with the white on white but because we're gonna have the opposite color, you're gonna see most likely the rough edge. Some of that might be vinyl, which will end up heating over, but look at that, it's beautiful. Um, some of that might be vinyl, which will end up heating anyways at the end. And let's get down here. I need a, I need a better point of view to actually see where I'm cutting. Because it's very important, guys. You don't wanna mess this up. Really take your time. 
Cool. Now I'm down to the bottom corner. Now I've separated this side from this side and so on. So now I would lift from the bottom here off of the tape, get all this nicely tucked in. And then we can start once we get uh, the bottom of this air, this bottom of the spoiler tucked in, we can start actually trimming it. I'm not, I haven't even finished wrapping yet. I was just getting to the cutting and stuff like that. So you guys could see what's happening. Let's adjust the camera a bit and let's finish up this backside cut right here all the way along. So I'm going to finish laying in to the area and getting the film tucked up to the edge. I haven't even, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I haven't even squeegeed the whole thing out yet. That's okay. We can still take care of that. And I haven't even squeegeed the backside on the bottom here yet, but I wanted to move the camera uh, so you guys can see all that. So I'm just going to wait a second and then I'll move the camera down for you guys so you guys can see that. And once I get this top section finished all the way up to about here, I'll move the camera over so you guys can see what's happening. But your blade angle here and your blade positioning, very important guys. So you can see that I lifted the film off of the tape and it's curling or it's pushing into this area. I'm not dragging my wrap stick flex. I'm actually pushing up and down in small increments, like pushing, 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 pushing. I don't drag it. You'll cut the film. Um, so you don't want to cut the film too early. We want to cut the film when we're ready to. And then now this is where it's important to keep your blade facing in and not down. If you have it facing down, you will cut into the paint. You don't want that. So just take your time with the cut guys. And I'm going to just, just take your time. Like I'm not pushing extremely hard. Let the blade do the work. The harder you push, the more likely you are to slip. That's one thing or do damage. Keep going, keep going. We're getting there. And then once I get finally down to this end over here, which is in a second, we're going to move that camera over so you guys can see what's happening on this corner over here. This way, you know that the whole thing was done nicely and you'll be able to see the whole thing in the end of how nice it actually is. Cool. Let's pull this piece. And let's move the camera over to the other side. So this way we can see what's actually happening over here. All right. It's pretty much the same deal. Let's get in there and start cutting or tucking and then cutting. I'm going to cut, I'm going to trim back some more of this vinyl, just too much. And again, on the bottom here, it's, it's pulling itself up and around because there's tension for pulling across. And so a relief cut might help, but in this case, I'm, I'm okay. Like I can make a relief cut right here, but it doesn't do a whole lot for me. It, it does get some of the vinyl out of the way, but I didn't really need it that much as much as I needed it on the other side. I couldn't tell you why I really needed it more on the other side than versus this side. It's just, and it, it's just how I ended up stretching it across uh, maybe a little bit more on the other side than I did on this side. So again, we're going to make sure our wrap stick flex or our tucking tool is right underneath that corner. Okay. Before we cut, see how it's right underneath there. This is going to give us the coverage of all the whites. We don't want to see any whites. Cool. I'm wrapping around that, that corner right up here. Sorry if I was in your way there. Excellent. That's looking good. Cutting around corners is tricky, right? We just take our time. My blade is angled in again, started it. Let's kind of come in and around this side here. I'm not sure if I got it all. Yeah, it looks like I got it all. Cool. Let's keep coming along and I'm trying to stay out of your way again and do this somehow. I need to look closer, but I'm just kind of I'm kind of ballparking this because I can't get close enough and stay out of your, your way for the camera. So I'm just, I can see, but I can't see as close as I want to see. Normally I put my face right up there so I could look. Cool. So this corner up here, I knew it was a little bit jagged. Um, I don't know if that even showed in the, when I panned across it in the first part of the video, but that's more or less it. I'm going to go over this with heat on the top side afterwards. So it's not finished yet. We're going to do the bottom here first. Okay, guys, let's do the bottom section of this, of this spoiler. Um, normally you would have wrapped all the way around it first. So I would have done all of this already. I just 
didn't want to keep moving the camera around too much, uh, so I did this part last. Some of you would have done this already though. Before, before you do any cutting, you always do the wrapping. You can do relief cuts and things like that, but I always do it in stages where I wrap first and then I do my cutting. The relief cut is fine. You need to do them sometimes. This is perfect. It's all hugging itself underneath the spoiler. It's perfect. It just doesn't, it, it won't grab on any better than this, guys. Let's finish up over here. The, the film is, is wanting to pull itself around the entire spoiler. Cool, I just used the buffer side of my squeegee there. And then now we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for the pre-tucking. So let's get all that pre-tucking in and done. This way we have the coverage that we need. So again, I'm lifting off of the tape just to ensure I'm not putting any tension at this edge as I tuck in. going here. I missed a little bit of air there. There we go. If I glide my, my wrap stick over like this, I'm not pushing hard, guys. I'm pushing lightly. So you might see me do that sometimes. Uh, most of the time, I'm trying to uh, lift up and push in. Again, a little bit more air here. Didn't finish squeegeeing that up either. Let's just make sure we're nice and tight. Again, always double checking. And as as anything else, before you cut, you want to make sure that we're 100%, okay? So I want to look at this line. I want to be like, okay, this line looks really nice. It looks nice and clean. It means I can see everything that I need to to be able to cut. Over here is actually a little bit bunched up, so I'm not really happy with what's happening here just right now. So let's do this. And then what I'll do is I'm going to do one pass with heat. You might, you might see the vinyl move a little bit. Make sure all the air is out. That looks good. And you want to let the vinyl cool slightly before cutting. It's important because if you try and cut it while it's uh, hot, it will be difficult. It'll be like cutting bubble gum. Let's do this. Yeah, my blade is angled upwards, guys. I'm pulling down on the vinyl slightly just to keep things uh, even and straight. Very important, angle that knife upwards. It's better to cut the underside of the spoiler um, than the paint of the car. Now I know that the knifeless tape, or sorry, the uh, two-sided tape that's in here, that's applied in here, it's not very consistent and even all the way through. So there's some areas where my blade goes in further and some areas where it doesn't. Um, so I try not to put it in too far. I'm just trying to graze the, the, the film with it, just with the end of the blade. Again, take your time. Put yourself in a comfortable position. That's important because if you're not comfortable, you're going to make a mistake. And you can see that when I'm ready, I take a step back and I, and I position myself behind the cut. Um, so I'm so more or less just pulling the knife towards myself. I don't want to be swinging away with it. Let's get this going. We're almost done. This is the last cut. Right up to the corner here. And again, if you can see me on camera there, I'm very close looking at it very precisely. Amazing. That should all be good. The last step here, guys, is to go over the entire thing with heat. All right, guys, let's go over this with some heat and finish up the edges, remove the masking tape, and I'll take you in for a close up. I use the buffer side, it's a little bit nicer. It does get the vinyl around enough where, and it, makes it, it just makes it smoother. I prefer to use the buffer side of the squeegee because it's just going to make it nice and basically perfect in the end. And around all those corners, all the edges, to make sure everything is nice and secure. Cool. Now I'm going to remove the masking tape and then I'm going to bring you in and show you what actually happens when we heat the surface of this film and showing you how we can actually get rid of the scratches of the swirl marks that are there. I think the camera should show it because I can see it with my, my eye. Sometimes it's tricky to get all the tape out when we've uh, wrapped underneath the spoiler. We'll get it out though. 
could use a bit of heat. This also helps. So let's use a bit of heat. It keeps the film, it keeps the tape uh, more intact. Kind of, and it also helps it release uh, a little bit more freely from the surface. Oh, so when I pull the tape out, I just pulled some of the vinyl out on the edge. It's okay, it hit it. Let's finish that up again one more time. And then let's actually bring the camera in and show you what, lo what it looks like when I heat the scratches. I want to try and find uh, an area where you can maybe be able to see the scratches. Let's do that. Um, let's try and find it right here. I do know that there are scratches here. I can see them myself. I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but I'll, I'll do a larger area and we'll just see if maybe you can see it on camera. So they'll heat out. They're all, they're all pretty much gone right now already. It's very smooth. I'll take you for a little tour over the whole thing in a second. But that will just heat out all those scratches. And I want to show you in the actual surface of the film that there's no inconsistencies or anything like that. All right, guys, let's check it out and see what this looks like. I'm um, really zoomed in. The corner, again, plastic is not perfect. It just is what it is. It's not bad though. There's no inconsistency in the finish. There's no like overstretching or anything like that along the way. There are zero scratches in it. Let's check it out. See, no scratches. That's because we post heated it afterwards. Let's check it out all the way through. Try and zoom back a little bit here. There we go. Over here, this corner was definitely rough, I know that, um, but that's as good as it gets because of the plastic. Nothing we can do about that. And that is like all the underside and stuff like that. You can see all down there. I'm trying to hide anything, guys, so I want you guys to see it all. That's all the way across, all the way down here. There's a little bit of tape there still, you can see it. Just gotta get that out, that's it. All right, guys, that is how you can easily, effectively, and efficiently wrap a spoiler like this in one piece without any seams, with it being reliable and long-lasting. Gives the, gives the back end of the car a brand new look. Looks really nice, actually. Even though this is a rental, it's going to come right off. Uh, but hey, I thought I'd figure I'd do a video while the vehicle's here. This way I can show you guys how to actually do this. Guys, don't forget my website. Again, link in the top corner of the description below. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Take care.